policy of having girls pregnant and allowed to stay in school and be learning. What do you think about it? Uh, it serves as an, as an example for others to copy. When a student is pregnant, and then you let that student live among her, her colleagues, they don't see anything wrong with that person. And for that matter, come some day, schools will, will turn into environments where children, I mean, our children will continue to get pregnant. Many more will get pregnant. But if there was a certain treatment given out to people who get pregnant, students who get pregnant on campus, it will serve as a scare. Sabla Sulemana, another educationist, holds a different view on the matter. He said the policy is not meant to encourage children to indulge in immoral activities, but an opportunity for them to develop into productive citizens. As we are discouraging children from indulging in immoral activities, we also want to ensure that when it happens, we shouldn't leave the child. We must make sure the child completes his or her education so that once we know education is the key to everything, we ensure that the child go through the child, I mean, the, 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 the process to complete so that she will also be a productive citizens of the of the country there's a policy that we call the re-entry policy and, and that is not to encourage children or um, ch uh, uh, girls to indulge in, in in those acts but when it happens or some as i mean are active and you cannot stop them but when it happens what do we do we cannot leave them we we'll have to encourage them to complete the education one student may will held who gave birth right after the first part of the ongoing west africa Senior School Certificate Examination is among about 33 others who are pregnant in the region and are covered by the policy. She is back to the examination hall for the rest of the papers and shares her experience with joining us. I was not finding time for myself to go to class, but my colleagues were encouraging me and I will, like, I will be in the dormitory learning and something will be influencing me to put more effort in my learning. Okay. I would like to advise them that they should know how to protect themselves because I have experienced it and I don't want same to apply to them because it's good but it's no good because it's having advantage and disadvantage. Yeah. What happens to me because I have given birth to my child, I have my child and I'm, have, I'm going to have my certificates again but I will not advise them to go into it. Because I was not getting time for myself to learn, but if they will have, they will take my advice, and they will not go to that situation I was in. I was in. Okay. As you know, yeah, for joining us.